All right, so Jackie, this video is going to be about transition attacks. Uh, we'll start off in the section of like when a player's hips are turned. Usually when you make this mistake, it happens when the ball's in your right hand and you should go left. Now, here's a reminder. You're capable of going left. When we practice and we drill, you do it just as well as your right, but I think your habits are to play to your right. So this isn't anything outside of your ability. So look at the defender's hips. The hips are turned. So if you attack right now and get to the middle of the paint, this player has to stay a little bit longer because you're being a threat. But since right now you pick up your dribble, you're not a threat. On the flight of the ball, this person's able to get here and take away this shot. So now instead of getting a catch and shoot situation, if you're more aggressive, you get that shot. So make sure you're attacking downhill so you get a catch and shoot and not have to have players do things off the bounce. Okay, so to me, this play is no different you're dribbling down court, it's actually a little bit a little bit more obvious. And now, her hips are turned. Not just her momentum's going that way, but her hips are that way. So making sure we have a wraparound behind the back in our bag, that's something you need to drill. So think about the, the routines that you need to create, a wraparound behind the back. So now, if you got to the middle of the court instead of gear changing, you would make this person guard, you would make her open, and so on and so forth. But instead, you do a gear change, which you don't really get two on the ball and now this girl has to just catch and now she has to go and make a play on her own so these are the shots we're getting off the dribble two pointers instead of if you got to the paint we just get catch and shoot shots which is a lot higher percentage okay, so keep in mind that like in high school yeah you were able to go coast to coast but in college chances of you getting a rebound and pushing the ball and going coast to coast you know the 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 chances of that lower just because the defense is better. But you still remember, you have a job to do. If you push the ball and be aggressive, you can create a switch. So now in the half court, you have some advantages. Or you could get two on the ball, which is going to create some open looks. So right here, you do a good job of the girl's momentum is going one way. So her hips, so you attack opposite. So basically, she's out of the play if you keep attacking. So if you keep attacking, you'll occupy this player. And now that you got two on the ball, you have numbers. But you stop attacking and you let them off the hook so now they can match up. So now that you stop, your next pass doesn't come to a shot, an open look for this girl. It comes to, hey, we got to run a set. So I think if you remain aggressive, uh, you could get a better look. So at the end of the day, be more aggressive so you can create better opportunities for your team. So here I just want to show you a tendency that you have. When you're dribbling up and you get a jump trap, you don't do a great job of taking on the trap. So what I would say is be tough enough to retreat dribble, bring both of them with you further away from your teammates. Then when you throw it over their head, it's four on two. But you kind of panic because you weren't expecting this, and then you get rid of the ball too soon. So do your retreat dribbles, and if you do that, it'll be four on three, and then you've done your job by getting the ball below you. But since you got rushed, you threw the ball and then there's a turnover. So be able to take two on the ball. Now this clip, this clip is a perfect example of what happens when you take two on the ball. So you go here, this is great footwork. You reverse pivot, which is awesome. And you throw it with your left hand. All right, so now that you, you brought two people with you, now y'all have numbers. So if we just advance the ball quickly, you know, at the end of the day, we're gonna get an open look, which y'all do and we get a wide open layup. And I think that starts from you taking on the trap, retreating, and then getting off the ball so your teammates can do the rest. This next segment is gonna be about your gear changing. I think you had a perfect opportunity to either gear change or put the girl in jail. Right now, you have both of your shoulders ahead of her. You should cross step with your right foot right in front of her body and she'll be behind you. Or if your shoulder is shorter, that's when you gear change and change speeds. But I think you let her off the hook by doing this. All right, so right now it works out for you, but I think most plays, if you put her in jail, that'll teach players like, man, if I have to do all that work to get back in front of her, I probably don't need to ball pressure her so much. But as a result, I do think this is one of y'all's better team plays. The ball barely, barely touches the ground, if at all, and then you get a wide open layup. But you can put that girl in jail more often or gear change up the court. So this play is very similar. You should definitely keep it in your left hand and keep attacking space. So look how your gear changing. 
the girl is on your shoulder, there's all the space over here. I think you end up taking an unnecessary risk by bringing it back to your right hand and have to do this split. I thought that was a, a risk you didn't have to take. You have all this space over here and you're being forced there. Just gear change your way down the court. Let's watch it one more time. Um, just so you could kind of see that like you had an opportunity to just keep going. There's no reason to come back. All right, so be mindful of that. So let's watch a few clips so you can see how effective your gear change is. Now you do do it more with your right hand, but look at this. Slow down, speed up, boom, you're way by her. Now, the thing you have to be mindful of is once you get your shoulders by a person, you gotta extend the ball. Cause this girl reaches back, and I know she hit your elbow, but like you already know, a lot of times that doesn't get changed. But again, let's just look at the effectiveness of the gear change. Slow down, speed up, you got right by her. There's another gear change that was obviously very effective, but I can still tell you're not being mindful of once you get past the girl that that tap behind is probable. So right here, gear change, blew right by her really quick. Kind of slow down over the top pass. Great play, but I can tell how you're handling the ball that you're not mindful of the possible tap behind. All right, so gear change, boom. Good stuff right there. All right, so if you see how effective it is, make sure you're doing it with both hands because you're only doing it with your right hand right now. Keep this rule in mind. If you can take on a double team, which your teammate basically does, okay, so there's two on the ball. All she has to do is get rid of it, and you know the rule, pass, pass, if you have two on the ball. So uh, I think you take one more dribble than you probably need to, but nonetheless... There's three of them down court. There's two of you, so that means it's a three-on-two down. So if you just get the ball up ahead like you do, that's going to create advantages for your team. So just keep that in mind when you're getting double-teamed and things like that, that you need to retreat dribble, bring two with you, so you can create opportunities just like that on the regular. All right, and we'll finish with this play just because it's hezzy. I know you. Uh, this shows more of a feel of your game. Get a steal, hustle for the ball, one dribble, just throw it up ahead because you know both your teammates are ahead of everybody. All right, great play right there. So all in all, just like keep these things in mind. I want to get two on the ball consistently by being more aggressive. You have all the passing skills and the ambidexterity to do these things. And if you do that, you're going to just generate more offense for your team. So push the ball, see what you can get because most mistakes are made from free throw line to free throw line. And then... If they get back or play good transition defense, then just set the offense up and get what you would have gotten had you walked the ball. So be more aggressive in transition. It's going to help your team a ton. All right. Good luck.